In this brief tutorial, I'm going to explain a couple of things as far as printing and a couple of concepts related to the page layout and printing in Microsoft Excel 2013. So unlike a document in Word where you choose to press print and the whole page prints out, in Excel it's slightly different. One of the concepts is that you have to set the print area. So otherwise it will not just print everything in your worksheet and the whole worksheet which could be too big in any case so to set the print area you just simply select the content that you want it to be printed and then you go under the page layout and you choose print area and then choose set print area in some cases you have to clear it first you clear the print area whatever was selected before is going to be ignored and from here you're just saying that whenever I want to print this it's going to print only this area that I had defined if you wanted to look at the print area as to what will be printed press file choose print and then notice here on the print preview that's the only thing that is going to be printed or that we selected earlier you can click also under page setup from this view here and then customize here as to what you want the margins to be and what you want the header and footer to be so you could go and say I want a custom header and you can put like a page number or the name of the report or whatever you want a picture or whatever as part of the header and you can do the same thing as part of the footer as well and you can determine as to where you want the headers and the footers in the document. The other way to get to this view is to go under the page layout here and you can go under the print title option right here and choose what the title you want, what header and footer you want, what margins and what the page should look like. So it's pretty much the same idea like I showed you from the print view earlier in some cases where the, you want the text to fit in one page whether it's width and so on you can adjust that by the fit to option right here under fit to one page tall by one page wide and so on so that's a couple other options then under the page layout here you can go under margins and choose custom margins if you would prefer for printing orientation you change it here under the page layout as well to print in landscape or portrait you can also put page breaks and also background if need be which I doubt that you would need to in general now another thing is since we are here in the page layout what you can do is you can apply themes so that your document looks professional by color coordinating all the components in your spreadsheet so you simply pick one of those designs and notice how it changes the color coordination throughout the worksheet notice even the color of the tabs in the bottom by the live preview here it changes it automatically now notice also in the bottom here there is a page layout view so you can click on page layout it's going to give you an idea as to if you were to print all the pages this is what it would look like for printing this is also another easier way to add a header to your document or to your spreadsheet when you print it out and you can also change the margins from here manually and that was by clicking on the page layout option you can change between the two options in the bottom here so that should explain how to use the page layout and some of the components for the formatting and the printing of the spreadsheet mm -hmm.